The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 30 Four, you get the NASDAQ down three. S&Ps are up uh, four and a half. We have the gold contract trading up $5.80 at 1296. You have the uh, silver at 1776. Uh, oil is down 66 cents at 4526. We get the uh, bonds, the 10 year note down nine ticks, the 30 year bond off a full point, and good old King Dollar is getting destroyed. That's down uh, 364 ticks at the 9269 mark. We got our man uh, Tommy O'Brien on Skype. Tommy, what's going on? Morning, good Monday morning. I know. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm skyping in from home. We had a busy morning, as you know. Yeah. And so, uh, gotta love the the beauty of technology, of course. There, there's no doubt. And so, folks, uh, you know, the beauty of technology. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can see the banner on the top or the side. You hit that banner. You can bring up the platform. We're going to walk you through how you can trade these contracts. And so out here this morning, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so what do you, I usually, we usually chat beforehand. This is even better. We get to go through everything right now. I have no idea what you're doing yet. Let's, right. let's hear it. Okay, so, <laughs> so what happens on Mondays, folks, of course, is that because I'm up early doing the gold report and I think the king dollar is going to fall apart, uh, I actually uh, went long the euro this morning. Okay. This was early. <laughs> let's let's see what I did here. Okay, so four, perfect. Uh, Why don't you explain it? But I'm looking at your chart as well, for sure. Yeah, and I'm looking at your screen. I mean, as well. Go ahead. So let's see. At uh, what time did I generate this thing? This must have been like six o'clock this morning. Let me look at this for a second. Okay, so let me get the chart up first. Auto history. One second. Auto history will give it to me actually. Did you trade that last night? It no, I traded it this morning. I bought them this morning. Okay. Uh, I think I did. Well, maybe, maybe I was up on. No, the euro one. It's showing last night, like 10:40 at night. Oh, maybe I did. That's pretty bad, huh? That's pretty good. There you go. You had no night trade. <laughs> that's uh, right. No, I was. The, you were I trading the Nasdaq 100 this morning. I, that's right. I was trading last night. Okay, so you can see how bad this this is, folks. Once you're into it. <laughs> so yes, I was trading this last night. Okay, so so I bought this last night. Uh, I did. Yes, exactly. Because I I figured the uh, the dollar. I was hoping the dollar was going to fall apart. Um, so I get in this thing at uh, what 114, I believe, right? And I was paying a yes. I was paying a pretty good premium at that point point also, man. Okay. Um, but bottom line is that so the the box that I had, folks, okay, is from uh, the one fourteen sixty, yep, to one seventeen ten. And you got in at one fourteen ninety six, maybe. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, one fourteen ninety six. Uh, so when it was there, just so we can show you, though, I, I want to show you the type of premium that I was paying. But I, I like the trade. It, the trade wasn't that bad. I could have lost, I think, about half of what I put up on the premium, Tom. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yes. Um, it, it wasn't, yeah, I believe it was around that because at certain points in the day, I think I put up like 3 350 and, you know, you can, the, the top of the spread is a lot more than that. But, okay, if I bring this back... What time did you say? 10 o'clock last night, right? Yes. There it is there. That 10 o'clock? Yeah, there you go. Right there. Yeah. Uh, 20, you know, 20. To the right further. To the right? Where it says 20 is 10 o'clock. Oh, right? cool. Okay, no, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not... sorry. You, you, got in at, you got in at 840, 2040 on there. Okay. There it is right there. Then. Yeah, so that's like. 40 yeah, minutes after right. what you're looking at right yeah. now. So when that when I said when that was happening though, I paid 
So that was trading at 114. Let me see this. 114. Yeah, 75 or 70, it looks like, in that bar. Yeah. So I paid, what, another 200? Yep. Yeah, I paid, I mean, so I paid another 200 ticks. like 75, and you got in at 114.95. Right, right. It's, you know, about, right. Right. And so, you know, right now it's looking good. Um, you know, we'll see. Yeah, we got a nice pop this morning. And what I liked about this one, right, folks, was this, is that you had, well, two different things that have, ha end up happening. Gold contract on Friday took a B point out with volume. So it's like, okay, man, gold's on a monster ABC up. The dollar was coming into this 9250 area that it's been trying to attack forever. Um, you know, and it just hit, it hit, the crazy thing is it actually hit 9250 this morning. Um, right to the penny, too. But it looks to me like that's even going to get weaker, you know, so we'll see where this shakes out. And what, okay, and so what, what are you doing? Let's go over your NASDAQ trade, too. The NASDAQ trade, okay, so what I did this morning in the NASDAQ, I took the, uh, the spread, I, I, I was on the 80-point spread, so the 42.90 to 43.70. I was looking at that spread there. I got, yep. I got in that spread, let's see what time I get in that spread. Yep, 7.36 this morning. Okay, so 7.36. I didn't pay much for that, because that was almost in the middle of the spread. Um, yeah. Okay, you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I will be coming right back, and uh, we get some uh, nice volatility in this market out here. Dow Industrials right now up 56. You got the Nasdaq up nine. S and P's are up six and a half. You got gold up 450. Uh, we're gonna be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and problem with us. We're talking about the NASDAQ here. And just as we're talking right here, folks, I am going to sell two more of these, and I'll explain to you what I'm doing right now. So, okay. Okay, so I have them. Okay, good. So what I did, Tom, right, I, yep. had, I had sold one, I guess at 7.40 this morning. I just sold two more. So I'm at... Right now, I'm at 45.40, and I'll show you why. 43.40. 43.40, thank you. Okay, so what we have here inside the NDX for, is this, folks. Let me, and Q6. Okay, we just uh, jumped over. This morning, the, the high before this bar right here this morning was 43.44. Uh, this bar is taking it over the high, and I expect, you know, you, you're going to get into, what we're doing right now is that we're into the downdraft that had been created out here at 9.40 a.m. on Friday, okay? So what we, did, what we had here is this, folks, is that we had come down, like this to me can go to 43.47. And what 43.47 is, is the low of the opening bar on Friday. And we had 25,000 contracts at that level. And we came up to the first bar at 13,000, and I expect it looks to me, let's see. Yeah, we're, right now we're only at 8,000. So your correlation on this one is 8,000 8, going into that uh, 25,000 as well as the 17,000. So that's why I sold two more right there. So if, if now, okay, go ahead, Tom. Nice. No, yeah, I was just going to say, so you're getting in, you know, I'm just looking at, even just the platform, I have your screen as well. But yeah. so you have about like a max loss of 300 per contract with a max profit of about 500 per contract. That's correct. Right. Cool. Because because yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah exactly. You know. and, and that's that's if it's trading at 43.40. Right. Yeah. Right. And that you know that's 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 almost just trying like trading the futures really. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, it's slightly off. I mean, it's it's three and a half points of premium. Right, right. But you know, that's that's because you have a max loss of three versus a max profit of five. Right. right. Which yeah. which I always like that side of the trade. Yeah, I I, I do too. Well, yeah. especially if you're looking for volatility, which which you're, I think we're gonna have. For. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's already started off pretty good. So you know, we'll yes. see we'll, we'll see where this baby goes from here. Um, yeah. Inside the uh, gold market out here today, folks, uh, let's go over there because we got some good volatility inside there, which would totally make sense, too. So gold this morning, we've gold right now is up 90 cents. It's got to 1306. You're at 1291. You get 191,000 contracts. Uh, some of the equities, if you want to see, check this out, Tom and folks. Um, Great Panther, right? It's already done 3.1 million shares. And... Someone whacked it this morning. This is pretty, this is, a, this is, when you, if you own it, folks, and I, I own it, okay, um, I think it's pretty cool what's happening here, but I can understand why you don't think it's cool because you just came down 25 cents, okay, which is a lot of money for it. Um, but what it, what it is, right off the bat, you had a big seller, and the, sell, the, the first sell took it right down, man. I mean, yeah. and then it came all the way back. Um, you know, and we'll see where it shakes out. But bottom line is that, you know, this is a normal, to me, it's a normal retracement in a market that's gone so high. That's what sure. it really comes down to. Do you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll see where the whole rest of it shakes out. We, we took out the B points. We took them out with volume. And I expect that gold contract also is going to continue higher and have huge volatility today because it's the same with the dollar index. The first level that it has come down to is like, like where it was supposed to go, okay? But <laughs> that's like just bizarre, you know what I mean? Because what does happen is this, folks, is that the price projection, so let, let's go through this with the dollar index for a second, just because, you know, it hit the 92.50 right on the nose, but I want to show you something. The 92.50 actually was in the continuous contract, 
And, well, it's on this one, too. That's wild, man. That's crazy when that happens. It just doesn't seem possible. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Tom, right? I mean, I that's, that's, a, that's a big course. number like that. But, but For sure. you know, the way it's hitting it, folks, it's hitting it with too much volume, man. And, you know, you know, that's you hit that baby with too much volume, and that's saying that, guess what? Uh, $88 can be on that agenda and can be on that agenda very quickly. So... Hey, so you uh, you went to the Lightning game. That was that was really a great game, right? They had an awesome game Saturday. They sure did. We yeah. went to the Lightning game, and uh, series is tied one one now. And I think they play tomorrow for game three. Yeah, that's that's good, man. That's that's yeah. that was. There was a lot of good action in Tampa for that game for sure. Yeah, they needed that win too, right? They did. That's right. Yeah, totally. So the market, oh, let's go to the oil market. So uh, oil out here, that, well, actually, let's bring up all the commodities. If, if I bring up all the commodities, what do we have here? Okay, so, oh, look at natural gas. Poor natural gas, man. Natural gas is down 3.8% at 2.09, but at that 2.02 is going to be the buy. Uh, gasoline's down 2%. Crude's off 1.5. You have sugar down 1.3. Uh, orange juice is up 3. Nickel's up 1.6. Live cattle's up 1. Okay, not the end of the world. If we go over to the GLD and we take a look at the GLD, what you're going to see is that that's a flat market out here. Now, the gold, the Street Tracks Trust folks, okay, took out that swing point with monster volume. We did uh, 19 million shares versus 16.2. Uh, so there's your other indication that uh, that baby wants higher price. And, of course, with the weakness in the dollar, um, that's basically saying it all. Uh, you know what's going to be wild, Tom, is that the, the bond market, the notes, folks, okay, it almost looks like, you know, these notes right now have two lower highs, and we'll see whether this is going to be a third lower high that was established last Friday. What we don't have now is that, you know, well, you have two lower lows, but if we get a third lower low, that very well could be saying that, yeah, the Fed's not raising rates, but the market's raising rates slightly. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to figure out, is the market not liking that or not liking the fast move in King Dollar as it's going south? You know what I mean? Because yeah. normally the market likes, you know, weak dollar. And, you know, we, we get a bounce out here for sure, but it's like, okay, man, what, what is that all about? Meaning... Yeah, if you can figure out rates, right, you can figure out so much right now because it's just so tough to tell how that's going to play out. It's all of it. That, right. I, right. There's, right. there's no right. doubt. Right. There's no doubt. And, and what's happening, folks, is that it's not that the rates are going down across the world, you know. I mean, the next thing you're going to hear is that people are going to make an argument that if we go up in rates, you know, it's going to be good. <laughs> I can't figure that argument out, but that... that uh, that is starting out there right now. I saw a couple articles this morning that, you know, the, the theory is if we go up, you know, it's going to bring everyone else up. But I don't, I don't see how that would do that. If, if we, I hear you. If, I do. If, if we go up, the whole world's going to send money into the USA, you know. Right. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume. Stay right there. Some of the higher volume stocks out here right now, folks. You have uh, Freeport McMoran down 40 cents. You got, uh, let's see, Halliburton is up 76. We got uh, Pfizer up 25. We're going to be right back, folks. Stay right there. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, don't miss out on the Market Safe Commodity Solution CD from EverBank. This is the second running of their popular five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD, which gives you exposure to eight equally weighted commodities, including WTI crude oil, gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, corn, and sugar. With annual pricing caps of 70% per component, you can earn up to 70% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this indexed CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The May 19th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member. FDIC. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We get the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 74. You get the Nasdaq up 9. S&Ps are up uh, 8.5. And, and if we take a look uh, at what the strength versus the weakness is uh, in this market, uh, Tom, we have, let's see, Home Depot is the number one uh, mover inside the uh, Dow. That's up 1% uh, at $1.61. McDonald's is up 1% 1 at $1.47. Goldman Sachs is up 1 at $1.83. And J.P. Morgan is up 9 tenths at 57 taken away from it. Uh, Apple is still grinding on the Dow. That's down 60, uh, 65 cents, or six tenths of 1%. Cisco is down 12 cents. Caterpillar is off 23, and Walmart is off 8 cents. Inside the NDX 100, the strength uh, is Monster Beverage. That's up 3.5%. Uh, Amazon is up 2.4%. We'll go back to Amazon in a second. Uh, Montelis is up 2.3, and Charter Communications is up 1.9. So let's go back to Amazon. Yeah, what's causing that to get a, a boost this morning? Yeah, I think I think it's just the late late over from. Uh, yep. And yeah. you, what it's doing? So check out what it's doing, folks. This is pretty cool. The the where this dropped down in December, the low of that day was $675.89. Now that is what it hadn't been able to make it through last week. It got to 650. It got to 669. So that's the test that it's doing right now of that area where it gapped away from. Um, we'll see whether it makes it, man. You know, because if if it can't close today at 670, uh, 75 dollars and 89 cents, well, then that you know may be a failure. It's too early in the week right now to figure out the weeklies, folks. Okay, you know. Meaning sure. what a weekly statistic would be because <laughs> because yeah. we're an hour into the week yeah, exactly. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but you know that's that's game that's game to uh, and you know what you do have is that okay so let's go through the rest of the NDX because that's a strong move that the NDX is you know still weak with Amazon that's strong so Baidu.com oh I see what's hitting it okay so Baidu is down seven and a half percent that's down fourteen dollars you have. Seagate oh, getting smoked again. That sounds six percent at 134. Vertox Pharmaceutical is off uh, two percent at 174. If we go to the biotechs, 
Uh, biotech's a flat. So it looks like uh, you still have, you know, some big weakness. Actually, let's go look at Facebook because Facebook, Facebook's flat. Google, yeah, Google's flat. Microsoft. What we're doing here, folks, is just going through Microsoft flat and Starbucks, SBUX. Uh, we're just going through a few of the NDX 100 stocks, and that's up 53 cents, Starbucks. Um, just to see the internal weakness inside of that NDX is pretty good, man. Yeah. And you got a nice little pullback of even four or five points since you initiated that trade. Yeah. No, it's it's going to be interesting to see whether that was the that, that was the number. So what we had here, you know, what it's going into as, and that's one of the reasons we were doing it, folks, is that it was coming into that high volume downdraft. Uh, now, what, I, what we also have is this, okay, you, you just don't do it one way, folks, meaning that you're coming into the high volume downdraft. But what I'm also looking at is that you have a uh, 43.35, we had a spike at. And then the lows that were established on Friday, you know, down at 42.96 has volume so it's like okay man this can come out of nowhere and get right down to that level again you know uh, you can see it clearer actually in the queues when they were unloading the queues folks the three queues you can see they unloaded that in a huge way man i mean there was some big players that wasn't you or me selling a thousand sure, shares yeah. here and a thousand shares there when that hit a low at 11.40 AM on Friday that had some big volume in it so so we'll see where this whole thing shakes out but and we have a lot of earnings this week right before we do. the bell after the bell on a bunch of different days a bunch of different companies so yep. that's going to drive some good action as always for it is sure. it is yeah. and the volatility's out here uh, the mantra sell in May and go away is here also <laughs> okay you know which you know I, I have no idea whether that works or doesn't, okay, but, <laughs> but you know, it, it's always out there, like selling man go away. What, what, I, what, I, what I do know is this, is that, okay, so picture this, folks. This is the beginning of window dressing. And for the beginning of window dressing, Tom, right, this market's very weak. You know, and what the beginning of window dressing is, is this, is you get the last two days of the month, which is last week, you get today and you get tomorrow that all the IRA money comes in that is just look really long only money that gets put to work you yes. know and the reason that it gets put to work folks is this is that if the money manager does not put that money to work guess what they don't get paid they don't get yeah they you, don't get their fees you right? don't get paid on cash yeah you don't get paid in cash folks okay so that's why that goes to work so you know it does it doesn't mean that every money manager has to put it to work right away but guess what what it does mean in the indices, which is, which is turning into and will turn into the biggest funds because, you know, because people are realizing that if you're not paying fees, if you want to own something for 30 years, well, the way to do it is to buy the S&P, the SPY or buy the Qs and that's it and forget it, man. Just, you know, that's it. Um, and Vanguard, because of that, has taken over the whole business. You know, I, I suspect sure. five or six years from now, we're going to see a lot of mutual funds out of business because of that, unless they change that whole mantra also. So, yeah. So that that money definitely goes to work right away. You know. Yes. So. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if that, that money starts happening today, right? Yeah, it should. That and, and, and yeah. that's that's the, that's, that's the point with with the, the market being it's this week. As the market's falling right now, exactly. It, and that that means that larger players, folks, are taking their money out, and this is this would be the time to take it out because you need someone on the other side you know, at least making it easier, you know, to get out of the marketplace. Because, you know, you're talking, if you're talking funds, you're talking about very large amounts of money um, and large amounts of shares that, you know, have to get sold. If we go over yeah. to the SPY right now, let's just look at this for a second so we can, yeah. yeah, see this here. So as we pull this up, folks, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, what you're seeing here, we're at 1037. You have, so picture, the SPY is trading at $206, $207. And what you're looking at here is that you're looking at trades coming through 
46,000. This is one trade. 32,000, 21,000, 19,000. Well, do the math on that. <laughs> yes. Those are big numbers, man. <laughs> you know, those are big numbers coming through without really moving the market much. And that's, right. that's of course, what, you know, that's what big money managers need. You know, you, you need that you can move out of big positions. And that's why they're, you know, the, that's the, one of the other reasons that the Qs and the Spies are, you know, so popular because what does happen is that you can do that. If I pull up the the queues, we're at $105. Same, you know, not as much selling, but you got enough. 20,000, 18,000, 18,000, 15,000. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is up 62. NASDAQ is up four. S&Ps are up six and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industries up uh, 61, NASDAQ is up 5, you get the SPs up uh, 650. And uh, check this uh, story out. Oh, man. That just disappeared again. Oh, bummer. Okay. If I can find it again. What it was about, uh, it was about the, um, the blockchain, folks, and the... Let me see. One second. Hold on. If I pull up... Financial it. tech. Yeah. Um, it was on 60 Minutes last night. Maybe that's I, what... You know what? I, I saw that, too. 
But this That's... one here will blow your mind. This is oh. uh, uh, <laughs> well, no, no, it, it, it's it's. These, no. bank, these, these yeah. banks are in trouble, folks. If you, if, you, if you saw the one on 60 Minutes, it was awesome, okay? It, um, what this is here, though, let me see this again. I gotta find this thing, because this is crazy. This is like, they just, the NASDAQ had someone come in, and they just released this this morning, evidently. They had 100 diff different firms come in, and they were showing them how uh, digital cash is gonna take over, period. Okay. And it's pretty intense, man. And, I suspect yeah. that the banks themselves must be like ready, ready to like. Oh, for sure. They, I was watching that 60 Minutes, thinking the same thing. So that, I bet it's just going to keep. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, for sure. And and what you had the thing. This is what has happened, though, folks. Okay, this is where it's kind of. Uh, this is the downside thus far of it. Okay, not not of that, but of lending money. What has happened is that a lot of these fintech companies, like Lending Club and all this. All of that is is hard money, and they've basically fashioned it and made it like everyone can get money. And what happens, Tom, is that everyone can get money, right? But that money that can be had is like a 12 and 14 percent. Okay. And you know, and we're in, folks, a a 1.85 right. percent, you know, environment. And and so that's pretty intense, man. And and I remember it was uh, about a. A good year and a half ago, I was at uh, a real estate conference, and it started in the real estate business, you know, as the aspect of and even putting collateral up. And then, and this was one of the largest conferences in the country for, you know, basically private equity funds. And I cracked up, man, because all these boots there were the same thing. It was hard money, including Blackstone. <laughs> it was like, okay, yeah. you know, are you gonna, are you gonna put up collateral and pay 12 and a half percent? So you can see why so many companies want in that business. Do you know what I mean? Yes, there's obviously some opportunity to, you know, undercut where the current market is, right? And beat beat the competition, basically. Well, what it is, is this, is that the banks are still so... I don't know what the bank's problem is. The, the banks <laughs> can still not give people money, and they have pretty good credit. Do you have right. Really good credit, right. okay? So these companies have figured out that, hey, guess what? We can give... We'll give credit out, but a 12 or 14%, and then... You know, we can take quite a bit of losses if we're in a 1% and 2% environment and we're, you know, getting 12 and 13%, you know, yes, exactly. interest no, on the other right. side. It's, exactly. You can work with that spread and have some, yeah. some failures. Exactly. Probably. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, folks, so if you're going out to those sites, don't think you're going to get cheap money. You know, it's, it's yeah, basically. Just always be aware of what you're, what you're paying, right? Yeah. And just be aware of everything. Totally. Especially like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to uh, Duncan Steve. Hey, Duncan Steve, what's going on? I'm sitting in one now. That's a beautiful thing, there we man. Go. Good morning, Steve. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Tom and Tommy? We're good. doing good, man. Good. Hey, before I ask you about that, um, I used to listen to you on the AM radio. Do, do you still have AM radio stations uh, that you broadcast on? Yeah. You can get uh, in the afternoon. You, you can, in the afternoon, you can get us in Boston. And it goes up to Nashua, that station. It goes to the not not in the morning though. Right? No, no, not in the morning. Yeah. Oh, okay. Out okay. on the west coast. We're on the west coast right now in the morning. Though it's early in the morning right now. It's. I see. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll look it up. The Boston one. I'll look that up. Um, hey, I was on, uh, looking at a one-year weekly of the GLB since you mentioned it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> one one-year weekly. Yep. And. Uh, Mid-December to early March, would yep. that be considered the A to B? Uh, Up on volume. Mid-December. Yeah, yeah. And so, okay, so it, uh, that was roughly, what, 15, 20 points. So roughly 20 points on the 115, give or take. Yes. Okay, and now what you had here, now watch this too, folks, because this is what you have. You have, uh, so last week we did uh, 56 million. And that B point had 69 million on the weekly. So the, well, I want to show you some divergence. There's divergence inside the GLD. So on the weekly, it's like, okay, man, that's not an ABC, you know, because on the weekly it didn't have it, but on the daily it did have it. On the monthly uh, it didn't have it. Okay. So right. what that does is this: is that the daily took it out with uh, 19 million versus 16. So we had it there. You know, so the bottom line is on a daily, it is it, it, it would be stronger if, in fact, it was on the weekly. And then if we go to the monthly, what you're going to see, it doesn't have it on the monthly either. Let me pull this up on the monthly. 
Now, the actual gold contract does, though. That's, that's the, the also, which is the difference here. But if we pull it on the monthly, right. well, the monthly is, uh, yeah, the monthly we had uh, 222 million versus 314 million. So it's a daily yeah. ABC structure. So you got to keep your eye on it, that's for sure. Right. But. And I see back three years back, it's uh, 135 is kind of like a jumping off point for some people there. It looks like. It had two two areas there of, uh, where it was at 135. So. Okay. Well, this is, what's so cool is this, folks. If you happen to be in this market, what what we have done is that the gold equities, the silver equities, they have eaten right through the monster supply line from June of 2013, going all the way over to January of 2015. Now that was that you know. We saw Rangel Resources, the first one who no, the first one who did it was Franco Nevada. Then Rangel did it, and you know if you got the gold report, you know uh, you get it. You know that a couple of weeks ago I says, well, we're going to find out if he's going to eat through it, but it taken apart, man. So, so that's, yeah, and I see it, it looks similar to the XAU too. It does, generally speaking. Yeah, no, no, it does. Right, it does. You know, so right, thank you again. that's showing well, strong cooking, brother. Great, thanks. Thanks, Have, Steve. He's got a. We, we got a. We, he, we got to start collecting some money from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm always jealous when he's chilling, <laughs> having some good Dunkin' Donuts out of Dunkin' Donuts, as he calls. Oh, yeah. Are you a Dunkin' Donuts freak? Uh, no. Uh, but I just like good coffee in general. Yeah, right. Right? No, no, totally, totally. Yeah. It's just so funny how the Northeast man is Dunkin' Donuts. But you know it what? Is. You know what has happened? I've seen it down here. Um, now, Dun Dunkin' Donuts have, have only been, that I know of, our area in Florida, about a year and a half. But... Little by little, I was out, you know, last week, and I heard someone say, "Oh, I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee." <laughs> so there you go. They, so it's happening. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get over and take a look at that uh, NQ trade again. So the NQs, yeah. folks, they are quite kind of, a little five minutes we've had. Yeah, they're, you know, you we when we were selling them, we were selling them up there at the uh, right where we are now, forty-three forty-four. Yeah. It gets down to forty-three thirty-three. And that buy just finished, so that's that's good news that it just finished because uh, we had 4,800 contracts going against 9,000, and we know that we're going against that monster of what 25,000 or something. So um, you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back, and of course, don't forget if you're in your car right now, that you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. Dow Industrials right now up 73, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's are up 8. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Direction's daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get the Dow up 47. NASDAQ just went negative. You get the S&Ps up 450. Uh, gold's up uh, 320. Silver's down 8 cents. And that was and quite a turnaround, huh? What, what, what happened over the break? I'm just selling, man. I know. Believe <laughs> me. And, and what happens, folks, uh, you know, they, they, <laughs> I know. It's a chirp, man. So if we, if we take a look, uh, let's go into the E-minis first, okay? And they, they hit them. There's no doubt about them. They hit them quick. I mean, the Nasdaq 100 dropped 15 points in like right. three minutes. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's, what that is, you know, is that there's so many equities inside the NDX 100 that are really weak, um, you know. So uh, inside the S&Ps, you know, the E-minis just went from uh, 2068, we're at 2063. You know, it looks like it's going to run down to the bottom of this range right here, which is the 2059, but what's also game and, you know, with, this game pretty good to, is the 2046 um, inside the inside the S&Ps. Now we go over to the NQs. Um, what you're going to be looking for now, what I'm going to be looking for specifically now is this. So we know that the volume as they're trying to get into the highs has failed, right? So now what you have to do, folks, is that you look for the vol volume at the bottom. So now we're dealing with we're dealing with 13,000 contracts. You're dealing with a low of uh, 43.24, and let's see how many minutes we got here. So we had five minutes, and you're going to need more volume. We get 4,500 right now, but it's going after it, um, you know. So you know, we'll see if we get it. If you get it, then you know you get game. You get game going all the way over to 42.96, and if we do go back over to this trade that we we're doing this morning. That's the bottom of that box. 4290 is the bottom of that box. So, Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting. And, and folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. Um, you know, Tommy and I are out here every, every morning, 10 o'clock, trading it, you know, as, you know, you can trade it Sunday nights, you know. And, and last night, uh, you know, if you trade the currencies, I, don't, I haven't been trading the currencies a lot. I traded them last night because I felt that the dollar just wanted to get down to that level. Um, you know, but the, the currencies are really cool. And if you trade Forex, you absolutely have to do this. This is like, like because Forex, folks, if you just, you already know it. If you, if you never traded Forex, folks, in the, the Forex market, they get wiped out all over the place, man. Because, you know, you, you can't stay in a trade when it goes out, up and down 200 and 400 ticks. I mean, because the... The leverage there is like they let you leverage out 50 to 1, which, you know, <laughs> it's great when it's going with you, and, but you're dead meat going against you. And, of course, what happens with the Nadex product is that it's a defined trade, defined risk trade. So, whole different ballgame. Well, Tom, it looks like we're, this volatility is going to stay out here today, man. I mean, yeah, I'd say so. That's, that's, we've had <laughs> quite, quite an hour of um, activity. I mean, we started off at 10 o'clock, 
Somewhere around 43, almost 25. Yep. Made it up to all the way 43, 47. Came back down to 43, 34. Back up 10 points and then back all the way. I mean, that's that's a lot of action for the hour. It is. And that dollar, you know, the dollar's hammering this low, folks. It looks, this dollar, see, between do, the dollar and the metals, it's saying that, you know what, that dollar wants lower. And you know what I thought Friday, when, when the market closed Friday, too, by the way, folks, um, our government come out was saying that, you know, there's three to four different countries that felt they were manipulating their currencies. And I says, that, that was kind of a heads up. I says, oh, we got to be careful here. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Folks, you stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And, of course, then Swim Lessons, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Okay, have a great one. Have a safe okay. one. Okay, love you. Bam! Love you. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.